I think our preference is to use single agent in the front line in the absence of randomized data showing a, an improved outcome with the combination compared to single agent PD-1 and in the absence of long-term survival data and with the increased toxicity which is significant. Um, that being said, while our default at our center may be single agent, there are patients in which we, uh, you know, suspect they have a very high, a large amount of disease or, I don't know, because I'm honestly, we don't do that, so it's hard to make up an answer. Um, there are patients that in unique situations we consider using dual you know therapy in the absence of randomized data you know as clinicians we sometimes use our judgment to use dual checkpoint blockade in certain patients who maybe could handle uh, excessive toxicity if it were to happen who could handle uh, steroids and who we may think have a large amount of disease that you know may require an aggressive approach